following video is a recap of Hoenn Tor. Welcome to Lois's Adventures Place Pokemon Go with me, Lois Marinucci, as your host. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. In this video, I'll be doing Hoenn Tour and I hope to catch as many shiny Pokemon during this event. Join me as I will be completing tasks relating to Hoenn Tour. I'm going to discuss the special research story known as Chasing Legends that came with Hoenn Tour and the three paths you got to choose during the story. The path I went with was Cacnea and as for the Ruby versus Sapphire path, I went with Sapphire, so here are the tasks you had to do to complete Chasing Research. For step one, you had to power up a Pokemon ten times with your reward of three incense, and the total rewards for step one were five Kyogre candies, five Grodon candies, and a Absol encounter. For step two, you had to use an incense with your reward of either a Cacnea, Gluten, or Skitskirt encounter, which also applies to catch five Cacnea, Gluten, or Skitskirt and catch 15 different species of Pokemon. And the total rewards for step two were two premium battle passes, 30 Pokeballs, and 5 Ultra Balls. For Step 3, you had to spin 15 Poke Stops or Gyms with your reward of a Puzzle Encounter. Explore 1 Kilometer with your reward of a Soul Rock Encounter. Catch 10 Fire, Grass, or Ground Type Pokemon with your reward of a Trap Pitch Encounter and catch one Grodon with your reward of a Volkmeat encounter. And the total rewards, depending on which path you went, if you chose the Ruby path, you would end up getting a Sunny Form, Cast Form encounter, 10 Grodon candies, and 200 Grodon Primal Energy. For the Sapphire Path, you also encountered a Sunny Form, Cast Form, and 10 Grodon Candies. For Step 4, just like the previous step, the tasks are the same, but the rewards are different. For spinning 15 Pokestops or Gems, your reward was 
a mining encounter for its floor one kilometer. Your reward was a Lunatone encounter. But the third task is different from the last step, and that was catch 10 water, electric, or bug type Pokemon with your reward of a Whalmer encounter, and catch one Kyogre with your reward of an Illumise encounter. If you went with the Ruby Path, your reward was a rainy form cast form encounter and 10 Kyogre candies. If you went with the Sapphire path, your reward was rainy form cast form encounter, 10 Kyogre candies and 200 Kyogre primal energy. For step 5, you, you had to do a Primal Revision with either Grodon or Kyogre with your reward of one Rocket Radar and defeat a Team Go Rocket Leader, in other words Arlo, Cliff, or Sierra with your reward of three revives. The total rewards were one Charge TM and one Fast TM. You automatically claim the following rewards for Step 6. They were 2,023 XP and 2,023 Stardust, and the total rewards was a Spinda encounter. Now, if you bought the Jirachi Masterwork Research ticket, this will take a little bit longer. And the three steps for this involves catching Pokemon. You have to catch 385 Pokemon from the Kanto region, the Johto region, and the Hoenn region the last step of the first page having the Hoenn region gold medal. Now, if you went with the Ruby or Sapphire path, you automatically encounter Latios or Latias in the wild. Since I went with the Sapphire path, I encountered Latias, and the total reward for that, the total rewards I mean were a Latias encounter, which of course you'll see became a shiny, 10 great balls, and 3,800 XP. Now, if you went with the Ruby Path instead of Latios, the encounter would have been Latios. And lastly, there were collection challenges that you had to complete. First, Blistering Sands. You had to catch Torchic, Cacnea, Numble, and Ninkata with your reward of one incense, five great balls, and one maze hat Pikachu. For the eerie mists habitat, you had to catch Skits, Gert, Chimeco, Rolls, and Absol with your reward of one incense, five great balls, and one maze hat Pikachu. For the verdant earth Habitat. You had to catch Trico, Gloopin, Slack Off. I mean, yeah. And Swablu with your reward of one incense, five great balls, and one Brendan's hat Pikachu. For the ancient shores habitat, you had to catch Mudkip, Phoebus, Anorith, and Clam Pearl with your reward of one incense, five great balls, and Brandon's hat Pikachu. And some of these Pokemon for these challenges were also available as level one raid bosses. And of course, I leave you with the rest of this video to Newer Wave by Kevin McLeod 
and you'll see how many shinies I caught during this Hoenn tour alone. And we just caught our first shiny of Hoenn tour, and it was a shiny lobby eye that I got for doing the photo safari challenge. Photograph a wild lobby eye. For our second shiny of Hoenn tour, we just got a shiny mud kit. Stay tuned to see if I'll be able to get more shinies today or tomorrow for the duration of Hoenn. Today is the last and final day of Hoenn Tour. The goal is to try to get some shinies while also try to get Primal Grodon and hopefully get a shiny Kyogre or two. Stay tuned as I continue my journey. We just got our third shiny of Hoenn Tour. A new one. Shiny Capnia. I am so happy. Hopefully we'll be able to get some more. Stay tuned as I continue day two of We just got our fourth shiny, another shiny Cacnea. Even though I've only gotten two shinies so far today, hopefully I'll get some more. Stay tuned. Well, for Hoenn Tour, I only ended up with four shinies, which consists of a shiny Latias, a shiny Mudkip and two shiny Cacnea. But in the end, I still enjoyed it, and hopefully the next time around, I will get shinies. The next video in this series will be about March Community Day. In the meantime, this is Lewis saying, Thanks for watching, everyone! You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Facebook, and TikTok. Remember, it's time for adventure!